Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another show. So guys, we like it. The Man United Dungeon, the channel for United and football fans. The best and biggest fan chat in the United States. Manchester United 4, Liverpool 3, United knockout and end club stream of winning the FA Cup at Old Trafford today. The two biggest clubs in English football, Man United and Liverpool, an astronomical game. But Manchester United 4, Liverpool 3. You heard me right. Man United scored four goals and conceded three goals at Old Trafford. This was supposed to be a, the, 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 the swan song for club to leave the English Football League with an FA Cup, the League, the Europa Cup, and has already got the Carabao Cup. But United said this is not. You will have to get past this badge to win this game. And United put everything they had. A, a very changed lineup with Kobe Menu, uh, Bruno Fernandes, uh, uh, McTominay at the back. Wamba Saka coming back. Dallo, Veron, no, no Evans. Uh, 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 um, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 who was that? I was so we had Dallo, we had uh, uh, Wamasaka, we had um, Veron, and we also had Lindelof. But those guys fought like warriors, they fought like gladiators, they fought the very best. But the midfield was lacking. Yes, United started like a house of a beautiful goal from McTominay, but Liverpool came back, they came back twice. United refused to re refused to be beaten. United were not going to lose this game. Anthony of nowhere, a guy who no one had given a chance to score with his right foot, scored a beautiful goal that turned the game on his head. At this point, United fans were in frenzy. They were looking like this can be it. You go into extra time. United conceded a third goal, and United all heads dropped. But there was still something. Diallo was on. Ganacho st did not stop running. Maguire was brought on. United were determined. They have still got a dog in this fight. Then equalizer. Rafford, who missed a sit-up at the very last kick of normal time. The very last kick of normal time. Redeemed itself from a path from autonomy, making it 3-3. At this point, we were all hoping penalties would take it. But I'm a Diallo. A guy who had been the forgotten guy came from nowhere, intercepted a Liverpool pass, ran from United's box to Liverpool's box, interchanging with Ganacho, and the ball was in the net. The ball, the game, everywhere, raptured. A majestic performance, a majestic goal, beating the importance, the magnitude, the gravity, the stratospheric opportunity United gave to the fans was enough to send United to beat the arch rivals. These are two biggest clubs in English football. Manchester United and Liverpool. It's bigger than any fixture in English football. It's bigger than Man United and Man City. It's bigger than Everton and Liverpool. It's Man United and Liverpool. And Liverpool, a team that can't stop scoring, United found a way to beat this team and stop Klopp driving into the sunset with an FA Cup on his car. And United, we have to give that team credit. Diallo, Ganacho, Anthony, they fought. The defenders fought like gladiators. They fought hard and fought for the badge and came out victorious on the other side and sending United to the semi-finals where they will meet Coventry. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this performance a 9. Yes, there were hiccups, but it is the never give up, the no retreat, no surrender mentality that sends United to the semi-finals. While you're watching, smash a like, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all the social media platforms. Man United beat Liverpool by four goals to three. I'll see you on the next one. Man United four, Liverpool three. Glory, glory, Man United. Man United heading to Wembley. Don't forget to subscribe.